Hey everyone, how you doing? Um, this is Sunday, about to head up to Wyoming, and as I was getting ready, uh, I don't know, call it what you want, instinct, that kind of um, sixth sense, right? And I just want to bring your attention of what's going on with our sun. As you, everyone knows, we're about to have this eclipse tomorrow, and we have had some interesting developments. Uh, let me go over here and no, first of all, let me give you what we're looking at. That would help uh, establish, we'll go here. So, these are the current sunspots. As you can see, they stretch, they stretch literally across the uh, equator of the sun. Now, what we got to be aware of, folks, is this grouping coming over. And I'm going to show you why. All right, so let's get out of here. And let me bring you up to here. This will help explain it. Okay. So, to those of you who are kind of new to this, so polarity, right? Positive, negative. In the mixing are the greens, the yellows. And that's called beta, delta, gamma. It's when you get mixing. And this is where we get uh, solar flares from. We haven't had many uh, because of this Mulder minimum. But when I bring you over here, that's what I'm looking at. Now, what makes this one different as opposed to being spread... Uh, laterally across the equator, this is horizontally. And this is really, and you can see right here, there's already good mixing. And it's already popping, as they would say. So let's go over here and take a look at what I mean by popping. And you can go over to Ben Davidson's site over at the Suspicious Observer's Ben does a great job on analysis, but I just want to point this out because, again, you can see the positive, the negative. Our sun is electromagnetic. Now, when we pull over here, across, coming across the limb, look at that puppy. Right here. Give this another 24 hours. And if it keeps this kind of mixing, then it's going to continue to doing what we're seeing already. And what we're seeing, to let you know, is this right here. So you can already see what I'm talking about. Now, the mixing here, you can really almost see how it's closed off, right? Got interaction here, but it's basically just kind of closed off. But when we look over to its friend, that is doing exactly what I was showing you. Coming directly from this positive to this negative, and we are getting uh, significant uh, M-class flares and I'll show you where we're getting X-class flares. Haven't seen those in a while. So these are the things that I look at, tuned in to those who do the great expert analysis. I'm just a novice, but, you know, even after you sit in class for a while, you get to know some of the basics. And again, here is a perfect example. You can see how the interaction is going on here. But watch when I pull it over to here. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Look at that. 
Folks, that is what we would call a solar flare taking place. And you can just see all the intensity of the interaction on this. Now, what does this mean for us coming around? It'll be here probably in about three days, four. We'll be right square in the bullseye. If it keeps this type of structure, could get very interesting. And I do mean interesting. So let's check out what we're seeing here on. So here you go right here. So this is C-class, getting up here into the M-class, and let's go back, let's look at the electron. By the way, um, we are in an electron storm. What this means is that people with pacemakers, cardiac issues, bipolar issues, schizophrenia, uh, depression, you're going to start literally feeling the pressure. And that's what it is. Literally, it's pressure. It's x-rays, uh, cosmic rays coming <clears throat> from our sun. And we can go over here and see if it's... And you can see our atmosphere is quieted down as well. So, anyway, just thought you'd like to see it. This is something that we need to keep aware of because it is coming around and get one more shot before I leave you here. We'll take up any more of your time and again, that little puppy right there. And it looks like we haven't seen all of this yet. And there's more still coming. That'll be interesting. All right, good folks, uh, for those going to see the eclipse, make sure have the right eye protection. Hey, regardless how this is, all the pontificating, the speculating, the hyperviolating, you know, all the stuff, <coughs> it is an eclipse. And even if it's, who knows? Um, maybe the dark planet that's up there, the dark sun. Whatever it is, for us, I know for myself, this will be my first eclipse in totality. And that alone is worth the price of admission. All right, folks, be kind to Earth today. If you haven't, go out there, put your hand in water, give thanks to the Earth, let her know that you appreciate her. Listen. If she didn't provide, we wouldn't be here. All right, be kind to one another.